welcome back once again everyone, I'm K Plays Games, and this is Fallout 4, and we're back in Grey Garden. In the previous episode, we went all the way over there to Fort Hagen, all the way up the hill, and we did the huge storyline mission, and at the end of it, the Brotherhood of Steel sent a giant armour blimp over the city, and the armies arrived, and we've been told to hustle back to Cambridge Police Station, because I think we're about to join the army. It's not just a case of the little tiny three-man recon team anymore. Or three man plus us. There's an entire army and we've already seen them in action. They've got vertibird helicopters and one of them just started a huge firefight down there at the water treatment plant on the way up. So the game is about to kick into high gear I think. Let's have a little snack and then we'll go and see what Paladin Dance wants. We got quite a few items from the big story mission. We got a unique pistol, which is really good. We got unique clothing that doesn't do anything. We got a couple of other unique items, which literally have no use at all, other than taking up some space in your inventory. But we did get some ballistic fiber and fiberglass and adhesive to help us upgrade some things. We're still a little bit short on all these things, but I'm sure we'll find some more. They're not exactly uncommon, apart from ballistic fiber. But I know where to buy it. Spent oh, hello. Case of ammo holding this site. Suppose that means we missed all the fun. No one's gonna move on this place now that the Pridwin's in town. Okay, the army is definitely here. This is a lot more than Paladin Dance's three-man recon team. Hello. Hi. Paladin Dance is waiting for you inside, recruit. <laughs> oh, yo, did. And it looks like they sent in the big guns. Um, yeah. The Brotherhood isn't exactly subtle when it makes an entrance, huh? There's no reason to be subtle when you have that in your arsenal. We call our ship the Pridwin. She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here, Elder Maxon's here. And that means we're going to war. He's got his war hat on. Who's Elder Maxon? Maxon is the commander of this division of the Brotherhood of Steel. He's the model of what every Brotherhood soldier hopes to become. If we're going to war, I can promise you that he'll be leading the charge. That being said, you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal. I've received orders that we're both to report to her immediately. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride. Oh yeah, boy! By Elder Maxon's orders, all forms of technology should be confiscated or collected. Now, one thing we should do before we follow Paladin Dance up the stairs is to open the safe. The safe is here beforehand, but you can't access it until the Brotherhood of Steel arrive. And inside is another ballistic weapons do 5% critical damage magazine. Very easy to miss this because you can't see it out in the open. It's in a safe. As you'll notice, these guys have like cleaned back. this place up a little bit more. You finally got the guts to clear out another location. I'm busy at the minute, Reese. They've put more beds down, like proper beds. It's not just sleeping bags for these guys anymore. So let's get up the stairs and can't talk right now. Gotta clean the Meyer Lurk Okay, when he said we're going for a ride, he really meant it. Alright. This is now our taxi cab. <laughs> Hostile during the flight. I suggest you put it to good use. Properly identify your targets before you start shooting. We don't want to have any mishaps and fire on the local. Know. Now, as we know, in survival mode, fast travel is disabled. But these vertibirds can act like fast travel. The Commonwealth looks different from up here, doesn't it? It never ceases to amaze me how drastically your perception of the battlefield. We're gonna need that edge when we take on the Institute. They've already proven that they're technologically superior, which means there's no telling what types of weapons they'll have in their arsenal. Hopefully, our air superiority and tactical know-how will make the difference. Now all we have my to do find them. And I'm betting that Elder Maxon will have a plan already in place by the time we arrive. Hey, someone's shooting at me. You can actually die when you're in these vertibirds. Um, they don't have an awful lot of health. But they've been blinded by rumors and misinformation. They 
don't realize that the Brotherhood of Steel is the Commonwealth's last hope for survival. Every man, woman, and child below is in mortal danger. If we fail, it's only a matter of time before the enemy overwhelms the population. Cleansing the Commonwealth is our duty, and I will gladly spill my own blood if it ensures our victory. Blowing up vehicles with Vertiberg weapons never gets boring. We'll be meeting Lancer Captain Kells on the flight deck. Stick close to me and answer all of his questions. Alright, this is the area of map we haven't been to before. Oh, there's the blimp. Boston Airport. Cool. I suppose it makes sense that they're basing themselves out of an airport with that thing. So yeah, we'll be able to call these vertibirds to our location and use them as taxis to take us pretty much anywhere we want to go. They can only take us to locations we've already visited, so that limits you a little bit. But they're very cool. Alright, soldier. This is the moment when everything changes. I hope you're ready. Now we're on good approach. And I believe we're getting... We're going to dock with the airship itself. Yep, we're going to vertical flight mode. How cool is that? <laughs> this is not a, an instanced location. You can actually fall off this, fall off of this thing and die. So do be careful. Hey, dudes. Permission to come aboard, sir. Permission granted. Welcome back, Paladin. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on a successful mission. And is this our new recruit? Yes, sir. I feel promoted her to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor her entry into our rankings personally. Yes, we've read your reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxon's approved your request. Place the recruit at your charge. Thank you, sir. And my current orders? You are to remain on the prison and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Ad Victorian, Captain. Ad Victorian, Captain. And this guy's all business. Captain. So, you're the one Paladin Dance has taken under his wing. <laughs> you don't look much like a soldier to me. I've killed a lot of things. Looks can be deceiving. Which is precisely why I personally insist on scrutinizing every recruit who boards this vessel. I've read Paladin Dance's reports. He seems to think you'll make a fine addition to the Brotherhood. You might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing clear. The Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think they are. Understood? Yes. Absolutely. Good. That's all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address. After which, Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. If you have any questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you're dismissed. Can you tell me anything about Elder Maxon? Elder Maxon is the supreme commander of the Brotherhood. Without his tenacity and his vision, we'd still be a small group of complacent stragglers occupying the Citadel and the Capital Wasteland. In a mere decade, he's grown the Brotherhood of Steel into a major military force. He's an inspiration to us all. Is there anything else? Uh, nope. I don't have any questions. Then I suggest you head over to the command deck immediately. Dismissed, Initiate. Okie dokie. And uh, Command Deck seems to be this way. Man, you can see from forever up here. There's a crashed plane. I don't think we've been over there yet. That's looking north. I don't think we've been over there yet. We've been all the way over there. I don't think we've done any of this yet. Welcome aboard. Elder Maxon is holding his address inside the command deck. Okay.
Brothers and sisters, the road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction. And most impressively, without question. Now that the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose and our beneath the Commonwealth. There is a cancer, known as the Institute. A malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb. They call their creation the Synth, a robotic abomination of technology that is free-thinking and masquerades as a human being. This notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their synths are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly, and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy, itself. Ad victorium. Ad victorium. Ad victorium. All right, that was an unskippable like cutscene. Excuse me, Elder Maxim. I care about them, you know. The people of the Commonwealth. Uh, if you say so. Care about them? I thought we were preparing for war. The Brotherhood is here to prevent a war. By starting one of our own. The difference is, our war won't reduce civilization to ashes. I'm not sure I follow his logic, but, uh, okay. What do you want from me? I want you to start taking responsibility for this planet. To start making a difference. And from what I've read in Paladin Dance's reports, you've already begun that journey. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. And, befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. Sweet. I'll do my best to live up to it. I'm certain that you will. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. All right. We're getting a 3% Z-tilt. Adjusting thrust recommended. This is the way up to the main deck. That is report. Green across the board, sir. Nothing new. Good. Carry on, Knight. And there's all kinds of stuff in here. On the promotion night. There's Paladin Dance. So how did it look out there? We've got a lot of Paladin. work ahead of us, brother. There you are. How did it go with Elder Maxim? Um, just go for dedicated. He's a very dedicated man. It sounds like he stands behind everything he's saying. Of course he does. How could he afford not to? I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. Don't worry. I'll be careful. Good. Because we've got a lot of work ahead of us, and I don't want anything slowing us down. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. Let's go. Outstanding. I don't know about Scribe Naraya. I think she loves her little zoo a bit too much. All right. Ooh. We've got quest markers. Tour of duty. Meet Proctor Ingram. Okay, we've got to just meet everyone. Any magazines for me to steal? No? Okay. Excuse me, Captain Cade. Glad you finally stopped by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? Uh, okay. Sure, go right ahead. All right. 
I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? Um, no. There wasn't that much radiation around before the bombs fell. Before the bombs? What? Let, let me check my notes. You were a vault dweller? You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Okay, second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? Not that I recall. Honestly, I don't remember. Well, you don't appear to be suffering from any long-term ill effects, so I'll assume you haven't. Third question, and please answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? That would be a hard no. No, never have. Very well. Last question. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? Let's, let's try and be diplomatic, shall we? If my life's in danger, I'll do whatever it takes to defend myself. That's an acceptable answer, and the most common. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. All right, so he's the doctor. Next person is just over here. Ah, oh, good. You're finally here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Um, excuse me? I think you're confusing me with someone else. Hmm. Perhaps I need to rummage through the supply bins for a new pair of glasses. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Maxon wanted me to meet the crew. You were next on my list. Ah, yes. You must be the new recruit described in Paladin Dance's report. Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. Okay, this guy gives you radiant quests and introduces a new item into the loot tables of pretty much everything. What type of technical documentation are you looking for? The Brotherhood is primarily interested in collecting information that might assist us with our current mission. Medical records, science journals, weapon schematics. If it contains any type of useful data, we need to get our hands on it. Maybe I could lend a hand. That would be splendid. As you patrol the Commonwealth, Keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts. Anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filled. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. Right, so these technical documents will now spawn pretty much anywhere. Let's take that. And as he says, you bring him back to him, and he'll pay you for them. It's as simple as that. Okay, looks like we need to go this way ne next. You know those synths with the plastic faces? Ugh, they Try creep me the heck Nothing. out. I was supposed to report ten minutes ago. If you can't fix it... I can fix it. You're the one who decided to kick your way through a mire lurk. <clears throat> Got it. There it is. Give me all your wonder glue. Proctor Ingram. You're the new recruit I heard about. Uh, not what I was expecting. What were you expecting? The last batch of recruits we took on were wastelanders. Dirty, beaten up, looking for a handout. They were desperate and looking for an easy out. You look like you're here for a reason. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the Pridwin's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. Sounds like you have a pretty full plate. Plate? Hell, I have a whole table's worth of duties around here. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. 
And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. Yeah, we kind of notice that she doesn't seem to have any lower legs. You feel like telling me how you ended up that way? That's a little personal, don't you think? Well, I mean, we're supposed to be working together. If we're going to be working as a team, we should get to know each other better. I'm not really looking for sympathy. And honestly, I don't know you that well. Maybe some other time. Anyway, I'm sure you're here to get your hands on some power armor. There's a pretty decent T-60 suit sitting in Bay 3 that's all yours. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. Oh, and if you need any work done on it, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. Alrighty then. Bay 3 is over the wisest decision here. Life, sister. And this is a complete suit of T60 power armor. It's better than the one we've got at home, so we'll be taking that with us when we leave. That is for damn sure. Yeah, there's weapons and armor oh, and power armor crazy. workbenches galore around like here. Three itches I can't even scratch. And we have to meet uh, this guy. That's a uh, armor workbench. Lock terminal. Step forward, Knight. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I won't bite. Um. Why are you in there? I'm glad you asked. Now, this is the stowage depot, and I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Tegan. The powers that be have me locked in here, so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. Okay, so, um, some kind of army this is. It's more like a mercenary outfit. Wait, buy them? Since when does the military sell equipment to its own soldiers? Since someone dropped a whole bunch of bombs and blew up every single factory that manufactured weapons and ammunition. Keeping the Brotherhood supplied takes caps, and everyone contributes to the cause. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. Oh yeah. Caps on the side, huh? Doesn't sound like official military business to me. Well, it is, and it isn't. It's complicated. It just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and interacting with the local farms. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one-man zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. After you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. In the meantime, if you ever need anything else, a gun, a mod, even ammo, you just let me know. All right, is that everyone? Are we done? Yep, we're done. Now, that quest actually misses someone off the list. There is someone else we need to meet while we're here. And they're up here. Proctor Ingram said she needed this suit tested yesterday. Yeah, I get it. Just, what if I miss? Don't. Okay, sure. Firing. Everything holding together? Trust me. You'd know. Good. Just all over the place. Uh, firing. Never forget, you are the eyes and the ears of the Brotherhood. If you see or hear anything suspicious, it is your duty to report it immediately. We live in enemy territory now. Your vigilance could mean the difference between life and death. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. All right. Advocate Child soldiers. That should hold. Thank you, yes, sister. You know, we wouldn't have to worry about them getting this out. This is the person we the haven't Your been told noted, to introduce right. ourselves Give to. Give Dr. Ingram my thanks for letting me borrow you. Feel Greetings, free to have a look at the specimens, but please don't touch anything. I refuse to be held responsible if you're injured. But we do need to meet her. Are all these creatures yours? Well, they're an important part of my research, if that's what you mean. I'm on the cusp of discovering how these creatures' bodies have adapted to the radiation that's infiltrated their habitats. If I can crack the code, I can equip our troops with a protective compound far superior to Rad-X. That's amazing. Well, it's only a theory so far. You see, 
The ionizing radiation left behind by the Great War kills because it damages most living things on a cellular level. However, after several generations, these creatures' bodies have adapted by altering their genetic makeup to prevent cellular disruption. I believe I've discovered how I can replicate that genetic restructuring rapidly. Instead of decades, I can do it in moments. For a short period of time, anyway. Why alter it for a short period of time? Why not do it permanently? Attempting to alter the genetic code permanently? That's too close to what happened with FEV and Spawn, the super mutant. I'm not willing to take a chance like that. I wish I could show you a sample of the compound, but unfortunately I've hit a stumbling block preventing me from synthesizing a sample. The specimens I've already captured can only produce so much blood and genetic material. If I try and harvest too much, they'll die. What I need are more samples of blood from the creatures roaming the Commonwealth. No problem. I'd be glad to help. I appreciate your confidence in my abilities, sister. I've modified your Pip-Boy to scan the corpse of any freshly killed creature that has the proper type of blood in its body. All you have to do is pick up any viable sample and bring it back to me. Hey, I really appreciate you doing this for me. It's nice to know I'm not the only person in the Brotherhood with an open mind. Alright, and now, whenever we kill living things, we'll have an additional thing on their loot table, which will say viable blood sample. You bring them to her, she pays you lots of money. So she's obviously been doing experiments on the various things. Outright me or not, don't touch the experiments. Please, ma'am. If you've played Skyrim, you will know what these are. Nern Roots. Charging into a situation guns blazing is a good way to get yourself killed. I believe we have an additional miscellaneous thing, which is open our personal store storage container yes this is like the living quarters here do you know here what a 10 cockroach can do to a buoyancy regulator i can guess don't get smart you want to see the brotherhood's greatest warship brought down by that's that done all right all right just don't tell ingram okay fine but there's a reason food's not allowed near the instrumentation these hollow tapes just have lore of the soldiers talking about their experiences, it's pretty cool, but I'm not going to make you sit through it. In these lockers, you can sometimes find not only money, but I've served on this vessel for years. Parts of it's the only home bits of armor and things like that. So let's go all the way down the other end and have a look in the other shower block. I'm not sure why he's on guard inside the blimp. I'm not sure he's going to have any enemies sneak up on him in here. If you go down here, then round here. Yeah, there's some field scribe's armor. There's some brotherhood fatigues. Hey, Dan just decided he likes me a little bit more, and it's because he's taken himself on as a companion. So we need to dismiss him as soon no as we can. No matter how many we win, there's always another fight ahead of us. Yeah, this place is pretty big. This interior is modded. Like, most things, like that bit down there and some of these walkways are original. Hey. What do you want? Excuse me, Paladin Dance. What's on your mind? Uh, you need to just we go away. We should go our separate ways. I'm not going to lie to you. I think this is a foolish decision. But it's yours to make. Come back alive, soldier. Hey, and we'll just tab out and he'll just hang out here in the cafeteria until we come and get him. We're supposed to go and speak to Elder Maxon. There he is. He'll just hang out in here, like, forever. Lancer this is a drinking fountain. Let's have some of that. Finest officers I've ever had the pleasure of serving under. Nice. Oh yeah, I forgot to pick up her power armor. <laughs> what did I say just Hail, we should do before we left? Is pick up her power have armor. Have you ever fired a minigun? Choose through ferals like paper. Now we're going to lose all the bonuses from all the armor we're currently wearing. Time to suit up. 
he likes see he's really easy to get to max affinity you just get out of your power armor wait two minutes and go back in it and he's like hey that's cool you, you just do that over bad. and over and you you're see the capital wasteland. almost instant max affinity okay flight deck that's where captain kells usually hangs out that's like the actual flight flight deck no, i'm not going to say to no to free drugs Tighten up the meter like that. Now split the difference. Okay, quest markers pointing us in this direction. Oh, here he is. Now that you've familiarized yourself with the Prigman's crew, are you ready for your next assignment, sister? Uh, okay. Just point me to the action. I applaud your enthusiasm, Knight. Let's get right to it then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. And it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there, wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? Uh, okay. Consider it done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the earth. Dismissed. Well, we've already met super mutant suiciders and I think we know where they're getting their nukes from. You couldn't really see it because it was beyond render distance I love Get on that I love this bit Maxon's like you see that fort over there and you can't because it's not rendered but you know Bethesda um okay this this very bird has a marker on it so is this the one no The annoying thing about power armor is that the, the markers you have on it don't actually tell you if it's above or below. All kinds of goodies. Take some of that and some of that. Yeah, we said this one. Babysitting field scribe. Prestigious. Beats guard to me. Why? Alright, they have taken over this place in big time. Proud to be serving okay, these guys. This is the Gracky Bird that's going to take us to Fort Strong. And unfortunately, these thing bats keep hitting it. Yeah, this is the one we need. Hope it's not been too badly damaged by these thing bats doing their fire drills. Right, let's get on board. Okay, okay. That's. I'm so tempted to spray these idiots with fire, but I'm not going to. And a hard right. And away we go. Off to Fort Strong. Fire lurk. These miniguns don't have the biggest firepower. Target acquired. I'll try and keep them in your sights. Okay, that's a beam off. We need to get rid of that. Let's try and hit it in the head. Damn it! Keep this thing steady, man. Where did the behemoth go? Okay, 
Damn it, hold still. There he is. Come here, big guy. No. Good shooting me. Primary target down. Look at that thing bleed. I'm gonna find a place to set her down and then hightail it back to the Pridwin for repairs. Okay. There we go. There's another one over there. Uh, this thing's too inaccurate. Let's get out. Yeah, what we've encountered here is a common bug. When you get out of Vertibirds and you look down your sights, when you release the look down sights button, you snap into third person mode. The way to fix that is to get out of some power armor. And then that should fix it. Yep, all fixed. Right. Uh oh. Fairty bird going down. Hello. Hell yeah. okay, and that's why that shot that vertebrate down, because it's a legendary. And he's on his way to us, so we should reload. Damn it! Yeah, that got you. We did lose quite a lot of health there, because this armor is not upgraded at all, so... Blimey, missile launcher limb crippling. All right. I'm glad he didn't fire that at us. That would have been bad. What's the behemoth got for us? Deathclaw hand. That'll do. One good thing about power armor is that it has pretty decent radiation protection. Let's just have a look at our apparel. Yeah, you've got 1,050 radiation protection, 1,160 physical, and 825 energy. So it is pretty good stuff. So that's the external bit of Fort Strong secured. We do have to get into Fort Strong itself. we do, I'm just going to have a quick look around, because there are some bits of loot that only spawn here, such as these cannonballs, which are ammunition for a very insane weapon that you can get later on in the game. Well, could have been earlier on in the game. Depends which order you do things. I believe there's some more here, here, yes, here. Some more of them there, right, that's good. Good boy. Hey, right, sneak mode, in we go. So boring. Okay. There's quite a lot of super mutants in here. Out 
<laughs> Man, that legendary had so much health. And the dog's getting himself killed. Yes. Could you guys not do that, please? What's this? Combat sturdy armor of the roboticist. Left arm. Minus 15% damage taken from robots. Uh, it's good, but no thanks. Any cola? Yep. Okay. Kind of going backwards. Gone. Spineless human. Telephone. Hello. Bottle cap will take. Red scorpion meat will take. Camera will take. There's another hobble tape there. You have to remember that this armor does not have deep pocketed on it. Right, I think that's where we need to go, but I'm gonna try and go upstairs first and clear out this entire level. You can't hide forever. Neither can you. Whoa, you were fast, weren't you? Still shot you in the head though, didn't I? Alright, I think we're fine now. Stingwing. Oh, I didn't want the weapon, I want your stingwing meat. for strength. Hey, you can actually parkour your way up here. It's not easy, but you can. And then around the edge, like this, close this door and then reopen it so you can go through it. Pro tips, because there's a little bit of loot up here. Nothing spectacular, but there is a little bit that doesn't go anywhere. I'll take that. Aha, a room. Some blood packs. All right, we get some ammo. Nice. Right, little bit of bonus loot there. And then back down. Easy peasy. Locked door. I think this is the door that leads back out to the main entrance. Yep. Another door. Sweet. Aha, boss chest. Forty five rounds. Many nukes. This is what this place is full of. Aha, and Perfect. another. Sneak magazine, excellent. And the key for something. This is some lore. 
about th these. This is the place where they invented the mini nukes and the mini nuke launcher. This is definitely where the super mutants are getting their suicide bombs from. So let's go downstairs and actually see where they get them from. Back into sneak mode. Our health is not looking great and it's no longer going up. So we should probably eat something. Not point six for one minute forty. Mutant hound chops seem to be pretty good. Plus two percent XP gain and one minute one minute forty seconds of one point oh five hit points a second. Yeah, we'll take that. Now our health meter is going up. Get the gun out, because we're not finished fighting. There's quite a few super mutants down on the lower level, as you can imagine. This is the new technical documents that start spawning pretty much everywhere. They're just like free money, you take them back to Proctor Quinlan, and he pays you. And it's not a little bit either. It pays you quite handsomely for them. Wish a bucket head would show up. I'd rip his legs clean off. Call me Charmer. That was a sleeping doggy. There's like three or four guys down that corridor there. And there's one in that room, as well as that dog. But we seem to have killed the dog without him noticing. I am tired of this place, this commonwealth. Yeah, we should move north, range out, and hunt. But dang it! Or spores, both. <laughs> yes, brother. Whoa. Come out, come out! Gotcha. Whoa! One of them has a missile launcher, apparently. I can smell you out there, little sneak! Yeah, stick your head out that door again. Come on. You know you want to. Here they come. Okay, now there's only three left. Now we've got the targeting pips. You're gonna have to come down the corridor, my friend. You missed. Come on. Come down the corridor. You know you want to. You and your friend. Good. One more to go. And that guy had a missile launcher. Alright, and I believe that's that. Ooh, purify water. Nice. Dirty water. Ew. There's Paladin Dance come to check on what we've been doing. We've been killing everything. Sir, my meat will take. Let's just sweep this place clear. Look for any more technical documents. Uh, nothing there. Turn me light on. Tape, nice. Drugs, nice. Radiation, not nice, but it's a lot less than it could be because we're in power armor. Horn, good. Dead guy, good. Man, he had a lot of missiles left. Ooh, a Braxel cleaner. Thank you for the fiberglass. Get 
that terminal also just gives you more lore about the creation of mini nuke launchers and mini nukes. Ooh, floor safe. Nothing special there. Duct tape in here. Aha! Lots of parts of mini nukes and two mini nukes just sitting out in the open. Some more drugs. Uh, yeah, this is like a huge big depot full of mini nukes. This is most definitely something we want to keep out of the hands of the super mutants. And now it's in the hands of a bunch of fascist soldiers, so, you know. Swings and roundabouts. Now the question is, how did they get this loader in here? Did they bring it in bit by bit and build it here? <laughs> did they build the floor and then build the rest of the fort around it? Answers on a postcard. I don't know. Anyway, mission complete. Let's just speak to Paladin Dance and hand it in. So I don't believe we have to go all the way back up to Elder Maxon. Because that would suck. I will take the Brahmin meat. Alright, I'll accidentally take everything. That's fine. Hey, big guy. Paladin Dance. Look at this place. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. It's doing a job. Why do you hate super mutants so much? Hate's too gentle a word. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward, only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon repeated. And maybe the end of everything that we hold dear. <sighs> Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. Alright. Don't apologize. It reminds me why I'm doing this. Thank you, sister. It's good to know you're taking my advice to heart. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxon. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed. Okay, apparently we do have to go all the way back to Elder Maxon. That is a pain. Because our sweet ride took off and flew away as soon as we got out of it. So we're going to have to walk all the way back to the airport. And that is a very long way away. He seems quite happy to walk. We have to get all the way back over there. And um, you can't swim in power armor, you just sink to the bottom. It's not entirely waterproof. It does drastically increase the amount of time you can be underwater, but nowhere near long enough to walk underwater all the way back to the airport. So we're now here, we have to get here, and that means going like in a big loop all the way here, and then end up here. So I'll start the journey, and maybe my journey will be done by the start of the next episode. We've been going for around an hour, we joined the army, we got our first mission, we got our first suit of T-60 power armor, we got our first ride in a Vertibird gunship. We've been using the guns on the gunship to gunship things to death. We've secured a huge stockpile of nuclear weapons for the army. I'm not sure if that was wise or not, but we'll soon find out. And now we have to trudge all the way back to HQ to get another quest. I hope you look after yourself until you come back. Check me out. Oh look, there's some more armor behind me. That will be the first thing we check out in the next episode.
So look after yourself until then, and I'll talk to you again soon.